Yes, uh, welcome to my channel, everyone. Shay, Sarah, Yunichia. Uh, we are back on the Navajo Nation right now. Um, we went to my uncle's funeral today, and um, it was really good in the sense that we got to see family, fellowship, and talk. But uh, we got back to my parents' place. Um, it's towards the afternoon right now. It is so completely beautiful. I, oh my gosh, I don't see this in the valley at all. I'm walking barefoot right now, and we'll see you in a couple of seconds. Welcome to my channel, The Navajo Mama. Thanks for coming in. If you're new here, welcome. If you've just subscribed, welcome to the family. Um, I am a stay-at-home mama five, married to my best friend. We don't live on the Navajo Nation, but we have our family and loved ones on the Navajo Nation. And so today, we're here in the Navajo Nation. I'm walking with Koei right now, actually. So here's Koei. Hi. <laughs> what we're doing right now is we're walking around outside because I noticed that a lot of the pine cones were open and I was wondering if there was pinions. So I wanted to see if there were any pinions. Oh, Koei wants to say something. When Mama Little, she saw a dream book in, in the backyard and Grandma and Grandpa house. <laughs> That's true. That's but, so but true. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone away by the wind, Sam, if you were right. That's true. Okay, so my parents have this incredible tree in front of their house, and for so many seasons and years of pinyon seasons, it's been such a blessing. This tree on its own holds a huge capacity of pine nuts, and these pinyon shell casings are just everywhere. This tree has been amazing. We've picked pinyons. I'm sorry, I have no shoes on, and I just want to make sure there's no ants crawling on either of us. So, um... But yeah, this tree is I'm huge. Let me. Socks. You're wearing socks. Good job, baby. Okay. So I want to show you this tree pretty quickly. Um, the. Ooh, I want to show you this too. The sun went behind the clouds, which is really nice, providing us a nice, a nice shade right now. But this is a tree I wanted to talk to you about and show you. This tree is huge. And right now, I do see a lot of pinyon. A lot of like pinion cases. Do you see that? I hope you can see that. But unfortunately, unfortunately, it looks like it's just a lot of dead pinions. So I'm looking at the floor. I'm just kind of looking around, um, and they all look old. So which that was kind of sad. Um, that tree also has, that is the trash house. It's called a trash house. Um, it looks similar to an outhouse. It's a little different growing up in the Navajo Nation because you don't have these huge dumpsters um, Mom, where they have a it's trash. It's a Ew, oh so yeah, high. be careful. It's there are so many huge, huge ant hills here. Um, but what I was saying was on the valley or in a city, town, wherever you live, you will have trash services that come and pick up the trash for you. Here, you, you don't do that. You have to put your trash, you know, somewhere and then haul it to somewhere where they have um, a trash service, which the nearest one is about an hour away. So what my parents do is, um, Throughout the week, as they accumulate trash, they put it in that trash house, and then when it when it's time, they haul it in. So a lot of Navajo people do that um, on the Navajo Nation. The sun just came back out again. I really want to go get my um, my cover because you all know I have lupus. So, um, but no, this tree. I, I I really came over here because I wanted to see if there were any pinions that looked promising. However, a lot of them are kind of old. So they definitely look old. So we have Baby inside. I put the two littles down for their nap 
And that's the thing with traveling. Um, if you're a large family and you have a lot of littles, or maybe you're just like a mom with a young toddler or something, you know what I'm talking about as far as like the transition of naps go. It can kind of get thrown off when you're out visiting family or traveling. Um, speaking of which, my brother's calling me, so Dad, let me pick Dad, up that call. Dad, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna get to Uncle's call. Uh, Chloe and I are just sitting out on the steps and we're actually looking at this ant hill. Um, obviously we're not in close range. Here's mm -hmm. Red's ants for you. Oh you, my gosh. You two, you two, the, you two are we right, right here the you two go slow. Yeah. Uh, now they go faster. Yeah, now these ants, they travel really fast. Oh, they go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog, Hedgehog ants. Yeah, these ants are going really fast. We're noticing that they're getting a lot of uh, materials for their home. Yeah, it just, their maybe, home gets bigger and bigger. Maybe they're trying to look for food. Maybe, yeah, they could be getting materials too for their house. Um, oh, there goes the shade again. That's really nice. I like when the shade comes in. Um, I'm initially sitting in the shade that the house provides because I don't have my long sleeve and I really should go get my long sleeve. Um, but this is gonna be like a really short vlog. I basically just want to show you the pinions. Pinions are a major hit within the Navajo Nation. Um, lots of people do like to go pick pinions. When it's pinion season, you can pick them and sell them or you can like make them at home and sell them from home. Thank you, baby. Um, so Omi has been such a sweetheart with me just checking in on the littles as they're Omi, the napping. Ants are going and fast. Um, I really liked having this one on one time with uh, Chloe just Omi, sitting out here Omi, and talking about how I grew up um, sharing with him stories about me growing up and it was really be careful, baby. I don't want the ants to crawl up your feet. They're so fast. Yeah, they can, oh, they can. we also wanted to tell you, we have been completely, uh, I don't this know if we want to nice use the words. Yeah. Only said the weather up here is really nice, which it definitely not is. Not too cold or too warm. Yeah, not too cold, not too warm. But um, Omi and I did, we were a little sad, as well as Chloe. We learned that my, um, not my parents, goodness, my sister and her husband no longer have the puppies. They found homes for all of the puppies, and while that is so, so exciting, I know, Omi had a, a favorite one. Her name was Mean Girl. They called her Mean Girl because she just no, liked to play and no, jump around with no, people. She's good she, she gets a fight with Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, and Goody, uh, and, and first there was eight dogs, and then and four got first, first, Yeah. That family, the fluffy one, was a Goody Lake Weaver, it gone now. Yeah. The puppies really did love them, and they were like fond of them. And we, these guys, really loved them too. But they did find homes, which eventually it was gonna happen. But we just we got close to them. I know. I'm sorry, honey. Paige left off for college, and they weren't able to have all of the puppies there, so they had to find. Yes, she knows. But she get back from college. She's going to say, where will my puppy go? Oh. No, she's not. Well, she might, but she, she knows that they had to go to a good home. I want to update you on a couple of things here at the house. For one, of course, the puppy's son home. Two, we were tricked by the pinions. I thought there was going to be pinions. There's no pinions. What pinions? Right there on the tree. We went over and checked all of the pin, pinion shells, and there's no pinions. And then third of all, we've had some people ask about the sheep corral. The sheep corral is done, so I'm going to walk over, and I'm going to show you that. So let's go. Sheep corral. Just sweep it in. There's making sure there's no on my feet. All right, family, we are showing you what the what the corral looks like. So basically, this is the corral. <laughs> What's that done? A sticker. Guys. Oh, it, hold on, hold on. Baby, baby, come here. Let me hold on to you. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Sorry, ouch. Sorry, baby. Thank you. Okay. Daddy, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Mommy thought I was all tough. 
Okay. All right, guys. Um. Yeah. I know you're tough, baby. So there's bob wire at the top, of course, because we want to prevent dogs and mutties and everything from jumping in. Um, hopefully they don't. I like that the fencing is pretty tight. Um, this would prevent the sheep head from getting stuck because I have seen fencing where the sheep head got stuck. What, baby? Mom, yeah. mom. Um, I don't think they, they will, But yeah, how they are the puppies going to get in there? No, puppies cannot go in there. That's why we're putting a high fence and these bob wire. It's definitely weird without Paige here. Kind of feels just, different. I She's just, at college. Just, she wasn't able to I come just, back. And we totally I understand just, that. But just, it's just, I it's I a little really different. Actually gone. I think it's going to see. I think really actually gone. Yeah, they are gone, baby. But, Chloe's in denial. Um, hold on, but I wanted to show you. So this is pretty cool. This fencing is on a sliding scale. I think that's pretty awesome. We're planning on getting the sheep uh, this weekend, so I will show you that. And that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you. No, we're not going to Sissy's house. They went to the store. Um, we're gonna go back to the house and I wanna get my littles, get some soup, get all of us something in our tummies. And I don't know if babies are gonna wake up again. I wonder if Nay's done with my Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Nay's working on a special project. Um you you all know he's into superheroes, Spider Man's, all of that. And so is Koei. Um oops. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Guys, this is how it ends. This is how it ends today. All of these stickers. <laughs> Goosies, you will not believe it. When I was little, I could run around barefoot everywhere. And it didn't hurt. That's part of, like, Red's life I growing up. My, my feet got so soft now. Um, despite how itchy it looked. <laughs> okay, so we're just kind, kind of... Getting back home. Be careful for these ants right here. Careful for these ants. And yeah, we're gonna get back inside. You okay, Bubba? You okay, honey? Yeah. Come on, come on. You okay, Goose? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna get inside, get some I'm food going. going. We're going over mm -hmm. the... I hope you enjoy our vlog thus far. Um, basically, just want to give you updates. The puppies found homes. We're home. The sheep curl is done. My parents are taking down the cornfield and they're gonna start taking out the corn because they picked all the corn already, harvested already. And yeah, oh, get another sticker, hold on. I don't know how Noel walks around out here like this. Noel is our res baby, guys. Well, thanks fam for watching. Thank you for watching, for joining us, walking around, seeing what's going on with us. We miss babe. Babe is um, in the valley. It's kind of weird because I'm never really like traveling without him. So it's definitely different. Um, oh, no sponsors, good. All right guys, so we'll see you later. Uh, thank you just everyone for your prayers, your condolences. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, sorry, he thought he had a sponsor and he doesn't have one. But thank you everyone from the bottom and top of my heart. Thank you. You all are amazing. I tell you that all the time because you are amazing. All right, guys. Have a really good evening. Be blessed and love on your family. Hi, go on, Bye. Brown. Yeah. Check. Hey, Nay. How's it coming? This is my show. It looks good. These are my tapes. Why? We got blue. We got They're all working on a project. We got black. Nathan, good job.